What's the best toothpaste? Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about toothpaste. And when it comes to choosing the best toothpaste, I don't normally point out specific brands to my patients. However, I always tell them to look for the ADA seal of acceptance, meaning it's approved by the American Dental Association. This seal indicates that the toothpaste contains the necessary ingredients to protect against cavities, which is the main reason we use toothpaste in the first place, to aid in the prevention of tooth decay, cavities. Technically, if you were to just brush with plain water, or even dry brush, it can help keep your gums healthy and reduce gingivitis by removing plaque through the mechanical action alone. But if you want to protect against cavities, tooth decay, that's where toothpaste comes in. And so having said that, the best toothpaste is the one that contains an anti-cavity ingredient. If it has the seal of acceptance on it, then you already know it contains an approved anti-cavity ingredient since it's met the standards for safety and efficacy. But if you come across a toothpaste that you like and it isn't ADA approved, that doesn't mean it's bad. Maybe it's currently going through the approval process. Sometimes it can take years. So if you're someone who is looking through the ingredients listed on the tube, the main ingredient to look for in toothpaste to protect against cavities is fluoride. There are a few types, sodium fluoride, stannous fluoride, and sodium monofluorophosphate. I have another video where I go into more detail about the differences between these types of fluoride. But for the purpose of this video, just know that fluoride is the only anti-cavity ingredient in toothpaste that has been thoroughly tested tested for safety and efficacy. It's ADA approved and FDA approved. Now, you might have heard some controversy around fluoride, but these concerns are based on myths, misinterpretations of scientific data, or conflicts of interest like people promoting alternative products. For example, while it's true that extremely high levels of fluoride can be toxic, we are not exposed to those extremely high levels. Anything can be toxic at a certain dose, even the oxygen in the air we breathe. If there were too much oxygen in the air, it would be toxic to our lungs, right? Anything can be toxic at certain certain doses. So this fluoride is toxic narrative is misleading and it's often used when people are trying to sell their own non-fluoride toothpastes. And then people hear it online and start sharing and spreading this myth. Once you read and interpret the science, you will see that the fluoride levels in toothpaste are safe and effective. I will link all my peer reviewed evidence-based sources below, as well as my fluoride and toothpaste video that dives deep into these fluoride myths. Now, I know some people might still be wary of fluoride despite the evidence. For those against fluoride, I advise you to talk with your dental provider. And if you're still against fluoride, then nanohydroxyapatite in toothpaste is the closest alternative to fluoride in terms of cavity prevention. Nanohydroxyapatite mimics the minerals in tooth enamel, helping to remineralize and strengthen teeth. However, it's important to note that fluoride toothpaste makes your mouth more resistant to acid attacks from bacteria in the mouth as opposed to nanohydroxyapatite, which isn't as resistant to tooth decay in more acidic environments. Meaning, when you look at the science, fluoride toothpaste protects against cavities better than nanohydroxyapatite. In addition, nanohydroxyapatite is not ADA nor FDA approved. This means that when you purchase toothpaste containing nanohydroxyapatite, there's less regulatory oversight to ensure that it contains what the label claims. Hopefully we'll see more regulation in the future. The limited studies we have are promising. Like I said, I would consider it second best, but I feel that it's more important to wait for more studies to find out all of the pros and cons before I start recommending it to my patients. I'm going to wait until it has a regulatory approval because again, you might buy something that says it contains nanohydroxyapatite, but you really don't know if it contains what it says since it's not regulated. So as a registered dental hygienist, I consider fluoride toothpaste the gold standard for cavity prevention and the best toothpaste you can buy. Now, if you're going to ask me about xylitol, I love xylitol on top of fluoride, but not by itself in toothpaste. It's a great addition to help repel plaque and inhibit bacteria, thus promoting a more more neutral pH in your mouth to help in cavity prevention. But xylitol alone is usually not enough to protect against cavities. If you have both xylitol and fluoride in your toothpaste, then I'm all for it. I'll of course link that video of mine in the description box below as well. Overall, aside from anti-cavity agents, most other ingredients in toothpaste serve different purposes, but they aren't as critical. The manual removal of plaque with proper brushing technique is a huge part of maintaining oral health. Making sure you're using proper brushing techniques is of utmost importance 
importance when we're talking about cavity prevention alongside using a good anti-cavity toothpaste, what this video is about. But please know that cavities are multifactorial. A lot more goes into cavity prevention, right? We need to also take into account a healthy diet, seeing your dentist regularly, the pH of your saliva, and a bunch of other things. But back to this video, before we go, let's go over a few other ingredients that you might come across in toothpaste, including pyrophosphates. These are common in tartar control toothpastes and are meant to help with the prevention of plaque and tartar buildup. However, again, sure, it can help, but nothing can prevent plaque and tartar like the manual removal of brushing your teeth properly. Next, desensitizers. If you have sensitive teeth, look for ingredients like potassium nitrate or sodium fluoride, which is a two-in-one ingredient, anti-cavity and anti-sensitivity. These help reduce sensitivity by blocking the pathways through the dentin that connect to the nerves inside the teeth. And lastly, whitening agents. For those looking for brighter teeth, carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide are common ingredients to help reduce stains from forming. However, I don't generally recommend using whitening toothpaste if you already have sensitive teeth as these ingredients can increase sensitivity over time. I have a whole separate video on whitening options if you'd like more information since whitening toothpaste isn't going to whiten your teeth. It will only help them appear whiter by reducing stain. In all, everyone benefits from cavity prevention toothpaste since it's what strengthens and remineralizes tooth enamel, making teeth healthier and less prone to tooth decay. That's why anti-cavity toothpaste is the overall best toothpaste. And if you have sensitivity or you struggle with tooth stain, maybe adding a desensitizing toothpaste or a whitening toothpaste will meet your specific needs since most sensitivity and whitening toothpastes are also anti-cavity toothpastes as well. Again, always talk with your dental provider about personalized advice for your individual mouth. Oh, and I have one more thing to say. When you're looking for a toothpaste and you're trying to find which one is best for you, the best one for you is the one that you like. If you like the taste of it, you're more likely to brush for the full two minutes each time, right? As opposed to forcing yourself to get through two minutes of brushing with a taste you dislike. I will link products below with different flavors and textures, and I hope this video helps you. Now that you know all about toothpaste, if you're interested in creating the perfect oral care routine to make sure you're brushing, flossing, tongue scraping, and doing all your home care correctly, click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide to discover all of the essentials for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And until next time, please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.